Um, you know, it's easy to send it done. You know, it's not like having a, a party and, and doing it in front of your homies. <laughs> it's like you, like you gotta mentally know that there's a camera on you, and they will tell you when to, when to come, when not to perform, when to stop. It's not like a, a, a moving situation. It's not like choosing the girl and that's your girl and she's fine. Because I'm gonna tell you, there's some girls that you probably never touch, but because it's a work situation, you definitely have to mentally be prepared because it's not just it's mentally be prepared before you could perform in front of a camera in front of either two people or in front of uh, 60 people yeah. that are on set so and, um, a motherfucker. I miss him all the luck. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, because a motherfucker get in front of a camera and have whiskey dick real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They will, they'll be yeah. like, I can't do it. I really think that people, you got to kind of be born to do it, because... Yeah. It ain't for everybody. I, I can't even do it for my homies. No. <laughs> I'm like, yo, it's, don't it's be. It's not for everybody. That's for sure. And, and 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 like anybody, I think the guys have the hardest job. Not that the girls have it easy, but you have to. It's, it's up to you to to give that spice to what you're to what's going on in that set. So if you had party too much the night before, or you went out too late, or you're stressing out for work, or you're thinking of a politics. That's not gonna help what's gonna happen in the next hour and what your how your career is gonna take off, and that's why a lot of guys come and go because of it. You know, so the girls, but I, I think it is just really hard for a guy to to be able to. And if you want to do it, more power to you. There's, I mean, Google it. There's a hundred other ways to get into the business. Like you don't need to even ask a female on the business. You just nowadays everything's internet, so you Google it. You like agents, this is what I want to do, and try it out. And if it's for you, then you know what? That's awesome. That's great. But I always say to guys and girls, keep your part-time job because you will never know if you're going to make this a career or you're going to, like, not be able to do it and you're going to have to walk away and go back to where you were at. And you don't want to go back to nothing, you know? Yeah, because there's a lot of one-hit wonders in porn. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, you can just saw them once and that was it. Yeah, you know, they have the hit single and then they gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like hip-hop, baby. It's just like hip-hop. That hit, that you, you were on Tap That Ass number 23 and that was it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, you see one girl and you're like, oh, what happened to her? And he's like, she shot that six months ago. She's not even around anymore. Yo, and there's a lot of things. Here's a question I want to ask you, and this is, I, I don't know, I'm just curious just out of me, and I don't know if it's going to fuck up the whole mystique of the movie when, when guys watch you in action or, whatnot or whatever, but... How, if you would say, how many times out of 10 do you have to fake an orgasm? Um, I think that's only happened twice. Wow. Two times, yeah. so, so, so two out of 10 times you've had to fake yeah. an orgasm. That's beautiful. I have to. That is beautiful. Yeah. Now, well, now, why did you have to? Was the dude just didn't brush his teeth for five days or? That's yeah. one. Oh, that was one. <laughs> he had, he had halitosis. <laughs> Well, I usually, I, I, whatever I do, I, I choose what I, who I work with, what I do, and, and I always be like that way, you know, and because I think there's always a chemistry that has to be along with the whole, you know, atmosphere that you're in, and if there's no chemistry that there's nothing going to really happen and appear, you know, because you have to really show that off on camera. And it, it's happened that you get, you know, you said you go to a club and you see a girl and you're like, wow, she's fun, and then you go up to her and her breath stinks, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Party's I mean, over. Happens. Hey, but you, you were so excited two minutes ago, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, it's dead. It's fuck, fuck that. You don't throw away a Cadillac because it got a dent in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you just be like, baby, let's stop off at AMPM. I, I need some certs. You want one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and get, and get yeah. you going. Okay. And like I said, like either his mentality wasn't there, you know, or, or maybe I wasn't there that day. Because things happen. Like you go and you're going to work with all the, you know, all those best intentions, and I was saying, like, you get a call from somebody from that gives you bad news, and that just stays in you. You know, it's like cause we're yeah. human too. Like, and then that's when the acting comes on. But that's why I try not to overwork myself. One, I always had a contract because I only work so many times a year, and it's not like you're doing it. Like, it's not a job that you don't have to go into every day and you like your tire. Like, I try to be focus in other things and other aspects of my career not only that part because when I do that part I want to be me like I want to have fun and not go to work and be like oh man I have to do this again like no, like I don't want to go into it like I did I want to always have fun and I think that's what made me be around this long because usually girls in the business don't last more than three to four years and I've been since 99 so it's 
you know, I, I just always, and I haven't shot anything in three months when it comes to that, that, that time. Like, I've been hosting events, and I've been feature entertaining, and I've been working on my calendar. But I'm going to tell you, when I go back to work next month, it's, it's going to be nothing but fun. <laughs> ah, she's going to kill it. Uh, she's going to kill it. You got, you got to promo that. You got to drop that, that video name for all the fans in there so they can go cop that when it comes out. Oh, no, it's everything, like, I'm shooting wings and that's my site. So if you go to clubalexisdemari.com in a month, the new set will be up there. So that's all I'm focusing on because now I think it's more fair for my fans to find me in one place instead of, like, because you can find me all over the net if you, if you want to. You know, you could go and just type in my name. But if you want things that are more personal level, then you could just go to my site. For there that. you go, and it's alexisamore.com. Make sure you check it out. Alexis, before you go, let's run down some real quick questions. We like to do this with our guests every once in a while. Tell me sure. your celebrity crush. Angelina Jolie. Ooh. I know, oh. I know. But those lips are just crazy. Wow. Your, your favorite adult film star. Um, mine, I will say Nina Hartley. Nina Hartley? Wow, that's OG. That's OG right there. Yeah. Okay. I um, heard. Favorite... Have you seen her back? <laughs> uh, y- yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> and and among other things. <laughs> yeah. uh, fa- favorite guy or girl that you've worked with? Um, guy, I will say um, Manuel Ferrara. And girl, um... I will say Nikki Benz. Oh, yeah, okay. Nikki Benz. Well, Nick, and I would but, say nice but choice. my all-time favorite is <laughs> Olivia Lovely, and she's retired now. Is, oh. she, is she really retired? Yes, my wife is retired. Oh. She's, she's retired. She's, yeah. Well, well, uh, well let's have a moment. We'll have a moment of silence real quick. Ready? All right, that's it. <laughs> hey, uh, okay, real, real quick, real quick. We're going to give you one more question, and this one's called Fuck, Mary Kill. We're going to give you three people, and you got to choose whether you're going to fuck them, marry them, or kill them. Okay? okay. And you got to do something to each one of them, and there's only going to be three, but each one of them has to be assigned. Either you're going to marry one, you're going to fuck one, or you're going to kill one. Okay. All right. The first guy is Flava Flav. The sec- the sec- no, no, not, not wait, yet. Wait. No, hold on, hold on. It might get worse. It might get worse. <laughs> Flavor Flav, Cat Williams, Snoop Dogg. Uh, kill the first one. Flavor Flav is dead. Rest in peace. Um, the, uh, I guess I will have to say fuck them because I could have some drinks and not figure I'm not there. Which one, though? Which one? Cat yeah. Williams or Snoop? Snoop, no, Snoop. Snoop, Snoop, Mary. Oh, so there it is. Yeah. Smart. You know, I would have played it the same. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> you always do be watching Cat Williams a lot. Yeah, whatever. Well, check this out, Alexis. We want to thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for taking the time out to talk to us. Everybody, give a round of applause. Chat room. Aww, thank you. Chat room. You have just been in tr- given a treat. A treat. God damn it. And uh, hold on, Aww. our resident ladies man would like to say a few words to you, Alexis. Sure. Yeah, Alexis, I just want to say I'm your biggest fan, 5150, you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll definitely send you guys some calendars as soon as they come in. I will not forget. Yeah, definitely. And um, I'll hit you guys on my space. And I'm, I thank you so much for <laughs> take, being patient with me on this whole ordeal of getting my call in and my flight and all that stuff. So no. I appreciate it very much. Shit, we appreciate you. You took the time out, got right off the plane, and gave us a call, and that's love, man. That's what you get on Proof of Life Radio. And always feel free to call in. You got anything to promote, we got your back. Don't even worry about it. So be be sure to check out AlexisAmore.com. Peep her out. Get her on the MySpace. Google her. Rent her video. Buy her doll. Whatever she has out there that has a name on it, cop that shit. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. It's actually Club Alexis Amore.com. The Alexis Amore is a long story. It's not mine. Oh, okay. I'm so still it's doing that person. <laughs> it's Club Alexis Amore.com. Jen Jen, if you, if you could fix that in the chat room so all the people in the chat room could see it. And Jen Jen was actually saying, she's all, damn, two times out of ten? I thought they faked it all the time. <laughs> not Alexis. <laughs> not Alexis. Not Alexis. She loves her work. <laughs> so, yo. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. And don't hang up. We're going to talk talk to you right now but yo right now we're gonna get into evidence chase the clouds away you were tuned into proof of life radio baby that's what it is